The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. This knot is the trialing knot. We use this for a hook connection. It's a very strong, versatile knot that I like to use for big, bushy dry flies that I'm casting to the bank because of its resilience and high strength. To tie the knot, I'm going to take the tag in, pass it through the eye of the hook, and I'll leave myself about seven inches or so of, uh, of tag end. I'm going to take that uh, tag in and pass it through the eye of the hook a second time. and I'm going to draw that down, leaving a small loop down by the eye of the hook. Uh, from here on out, it's just like the clinch knot. I'm going to take my tag end, I'm going to wrap it around my main line about three times, and then I'm going to come back and tuck that tag in through both loops at the hook eye. I'm going to try and draw as much slack out by pulling on both uh, the tag and, and the leader end. Take and moisten the knot before I tighten it, get a good grip, and draw nice and tight. With the trialing knot, you can clip the tag really close so you don't pick up debris or grass off the bank. Very nice profile, very strong knot. All right, and here's the trialing knot tied on a shrimp pattern. Uh, like I said, it's a very good uh, knot for big bushy dry fly fishing uh, during a salmon fly hatch or, or sea trout fishing with a shrimp pattern. Uh, very versatile, resilient, high strength knot. That's the trialing knot. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 10.48 pounds which equates to 99% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio, make the connection.